What's up guys, in this video I'm going to be reviewing the brand new New Balance 990 V6. Alright guys, so the New Balance 990 V6 are over here. This is in the Castle Rock grey colorway which is the OG, like when you think of the 990 or you think of any shoe that New Balance makes, I always gravitate towards the gray version because it's the OG color in my opinion. And it's just a classic shoe that no matter what outfit you're wearing, no matter what you're trying to go for, what look, this colorway is going to look good with anything and everything. It never goes out of style as you've seen throughout the many, many plethora of years that this shoe has come out with different variations and it's just still in style today and the v6 is no different this right here is a box this is how it comes but it also comes with gray laces in a castle rock to match the style of the shoe and i got this shoe in a true to size 10 and a half because 10 and a half is my true to size so a lot of people say that for the 990 v6 it runs a little large and for just sizing wise I tried both a size 10 and a 10 and a half. I'm a size 10 and a half true to size. I tried 10 going a little smaller. It felt comfortable, it felt good, but this upper part, it felt like it wouldn't have been as comfortable if I stuck to the size 10 if I went down. However, when I went with my true to size, it did feel a little bit bigger. However, it feels a lot more comfortable here I like the extra room in the toe area. I decided to go with my true to size, even if it runs a tiny bit large, but it's not enough where you just simply cannot walk with the shoe and it feels good. It feels comfortable and it's a huge improvement from the New Balance 990 V5 that came out a couple years ago. I recommend this 100%. So for anyone that wants to stop watching the video here, get this shoe. Trust me, you will not be disappointed. But moving on to the other topics about the shoe, Let's roll into that. So the price point of this shoe is 200 US dollars compared to the $180 from the last year's V5. So last year's model, a picture of it is right over here. The New Balance 990 V5. This is how the new version stacks up. Which version do you like more? So me personally, I like this version way more. I like how this looks. It looks more athletic looking. It looks like you can wear it out with different outfits. You can wear it to the gym or anything that you want to go ahead and use this for. It looks way more presentable and it weighs a lot less. So in regards to this, the toe area, the mesh is just like any other version of the 990 shoe that you've previously had and the the laces are just like the same thing as last year i do like the hints of 3m around the shoe as you guys can see over here and right there always looks good uh one thing i did notice is that this shoe weighs a lot less like i mentioned a moment ago than the previous iteration of the 990 however weighing less it has a lot more cushioning and the reason for that is because in this shoe the 990 v6 it has an extra cushioning that it did not have in the V5, which is called the fuel cell, meaning that this area right here is a lot more soft and plush compared to last year's model, combined with the cushioning that it has always had right here at the bottom. So combining these two cushionings together in one shoe makes this shoe a lot more comfortable. So if you want a shoe that you can do a little bit of everything with, you wanna use this as your daily driver this is the shoe for you so if you want to go to the gym you can use this shoe if you want to go ahead and run a little bit there are better shoes for running in my opinion but if you want to go ahead and just crack some miles this is the shoe for you if you want to go ahead and go do the groceries while being able to go to the gym and even going out late night with your friends and still looking good this is the shoe that can do it all especially in a colorway like this. And I'm sure that in the near future, there will be more colorways released such as like a navy color or a black one. And heck, maybe even a white one like they typically do release eventually, but always the Castle Rock Gray is the OG. So you cannot go wrong with this. I 100% recommend this shoe. It's just amazing how this shoe specifically has a lot more cushioning and you would think it's a lot more heavier, but no. 
it's a lot lighter, like a big difference. And if you can go ahead and find these in your local shoe store, go ahead and compare it to last year's model and see the weight difference of last year's model, a picture of it right over here, versus this. You'll feel the instant difference in your sizing. Now, in terms of going back to sizing, if you like to have a little bit of extra comfort or have a wide foot, I recommend going true to size because these do run a little bit big compared to last year's model. But if you have a more narrow foot or you like more of a snug fit, I recommend sizing down to a size, half a size below your normal size. So for me, I made true, true to size 10 and a half, but I stuck to a normal size 10 and a half, my true to size, because I wanted that extra room for extra comfort. So that's my personal opinion. But I also could wear the size 10 for a more snug fit, regardless of what you pick. That's my take on the sizing. After wearing it for a little bit, the, the cushioning, the traction at the bottom, the fuel cell cushioning right there at the bottom is so soft, so plush, and it truly rivals other shoes such as Adidas, such as Nike, or even other brands like Saucony and things like that in terms of comfort, because this is just an all around shoe. It has a style, it has a comfort, and it has a look to keep you going for many, many, many years. And this shoe just will not go out of style, unlike other shoes. So this is just a quick little review and first impressions on the New Balance 990 V6. If you want to see more about how I like to style this shoe, go ahead and comment down below and I'll make sure to uh, how to, how I style or style inspiration on this shoe right over here. So give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe, and remember new videos every Tuesday, every Friday at 11 a.m. Eastern time and YouTube shorts on the daily. So stay tuned for that. And I'm going to round this video up right here. Eero Osorio, signing out. Thank you.